Do you know there's a house of cakewalk in astrology? Do you know what's cakewalk? I'm sure you do. If yes, then you need to understand this house. This is the most powerful house among all the 12 houses, at least in terms of external achievements. Okay, so that's exactly what we are going to discuss today. 11 amazing blessings of the 11th house. There are 11,000 blessings, <laughs> but today we will discuss at least 11. And you can write down in the comments what other things do you think the 11th house awards you with what are some other blessings according to you what have you seen all right so now before i begin all these 11 it's very important that you understand that you may not experience these blessings all the time if you have a good 11th house but surely and certainly when the planet sitting in the 11th house or when planets sitting in 11th house get activated during the Mahadasha or their respective Antardashas or the 11th Lord is active, okay, then you may receive blessings of this order. And also, of course, it depends on the overall chart because there are many people who will have too many planets in the 11th, but they may not have all this because the Nakshatra Lords may be in some other houses, okay. So, assuming that you have seen the overall chart and you are sure that the 11th house and the overall chart is very good and very strong, then you should watch all this, okay? So what is the first blessing? The first blessing is it's the house of cakewalk in astrology. What is cakewalk? It means any planet in the 11th house gives you things very easily, okay? So money, property, name, fame, power, position, authority, whatever is required, it just gives you easily, which means uh, you don't have to work much. See, you have to understand what is the 11th house. The fifth house is the house of past life good deeds. It's like, you know, charity and helping others and all this. Now in this life, what happens? The 11th house is the exact opposite. So 11th house is the opening of the fifth house. Okay. So basically 11th house is where your past life good deeds fructify and give you good results. Okay. So many times people think that uh, if they have too many plants in their fifth house, they'll be very rich or affluent. No, it's not like that. A, a person with too many plants in the fifth house can be doing a lot of good activities and the result of which they will rip in their, uh, reap in their next life. <laughs> not rip, sorry, reap in their next or next to next lifetimes. But if you have a very strong 11th house, that means as per your prarabdha, this life you will get things which uh, you buy without putting much efforts okay and this is quadrupled by the fact if in your date of birth in your numerology uh, if you have seven by any means okay so uh, if you have seven like you are july born or you are born in the 70s or you're born on 7th 16th or 25th or your destiny number which is your total date of birth is seven okay so if you have seven along with a very strong 11th house then uh, you it's just a matter of time. Things can be relatively very easy for you. But again, it depends. Now, don't start writing in the comments. Oh, this is not true. I have this. I have that. You know, please, for God's sake, look at your overall chart and don't just blast nonsense in the comments just by seeing one thing. All right. Otherwise, uh, I will ignore your comments. All right. Because I know you have not seen your chart because there are many people who are born with seven and uh, they have a strong 11th house apparently, but they don't know how to see their overall chart. So if you don't see, then don't comment. If you see and you know, then please comment. Okay. Thank you. Now, number two, the 11th house is ever victorious. Okay. A planet in the 11th house will make you ever victorious. <laughs> Why? Because it is the sixth from the sixth. Sixth house is the house of your enemy and sixth from the sixth is the enemy of your enemy, which means your victory, right? Uh, it could be your friend. Dushman ka dushman dost hota hai. The enemy is enemy is your friend. But um, it does not necessarily mean that, you know, some magically some friend comes and uh, gives you something. Okay. It can also mean, so for example, if your 11th house is strong and it's activated in Dasha, so you have a court case and you go and suddenly the judge will feel, you know, oh, you are right. You know, the other party is wrong. Okay. <clears throat> so therefore, uh, you need to understand that the 11th house can work miraculously in your favor when it comes to court cases or competition or uh, disputes, you know, uh, or, or any kind of, uh, any kind of uh, war that you are in. Okay. So therefore it is uh, going to make you ever victorious. Okay. Param Vijayate. <laughs> Number three, the 11th house can give you success through network. Okay. So for example, 
you do certain things with your hard work but then somehow you get other people uh, who will uh, come and help you miraculously and you will be shocked like you know how is this happening okay so the 11th a person with a very strong 11th house will network with all the strong and influential and rich and powerful personalities in the society this is just a matter of time okay because uh, the 11th house shows uh, people say 11th house is the house of network circles but actually not uh, it, it is just not network circles it is network circles that actually help you grow in life and gain in life materially spiritually emotionally overall otherwise you know the third house is also the house of acquaintances and associations which does not produce much results in your life okay result in the sense you know it does not make you better or it does not make your life better it's just people that you know you know nothing happens but 11th house means you are networking with big celebrities you know big politicians cabinet ministers you know hollywood bollywood and all this and you know by that you can become very rich okay so that's what is the 11th house number four it is three levels more powerful than a 10th house now 10th house is the house of name fame uh, but 11th house is at least three times more powerful okay so 11th house represents j curve growth in astrology now you know linear growth is like this you know you work uh, so suppose you did your bachelor's in india you know in computer science or any other domain and you became a software engineer and after three years you became kind of um, senior software engineer or five years you know then you become uh, after another five years you become team lead you know then so and so and so so that's like a linear curve okay but imagine uh, you work one year in some company and you become the team lead okay so you are bypassing like seven eight years of seniority uh, um, so that could be because of your skill or somebody knows you or it could be because of any reason but at the end that is what happens okay with the 11th house so it's like j curve it's like you know exponential growth so you can bypass two three levels of positions with uh, the 11th house okay compared to the 10th house so the the 10th house will give you name fame power position but the 11th house will give you things which you have never imagined okay that's the 11th house now number five this is uh, very 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 important because 11th house is the prime house of spiritual communities it's the house of satsang programs okay so from the ninth house it is the third so the ninth house is the house of your guru and the third house is where your guru speaks okay so if you see the third from the ninth it's like the mouth of the guru is your 11th house so that means if a person has a very strong 11th house then the person can also gain a lot spiritually the person can elevate his or her consciousness and go beyond the material realm okay so the 11th house is very 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 powerful so because from the 11th you are directly a planet in the 11th is directly aspecting the fifth house okay what is the fifth house the fifth house is the house of mantra and spiritual awakening it's the core house of spirituality five and nine so a planet in the 11th it will give you desire for spirituality also okay or in another sense also it can give you in a sense that you know it can fulfill your desires and then you feel okay my material desires are fulfilled what do i do now what do I, what's next okay so then you look towards spirituality okay so very 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 powerful house now number six they say 11th house the house of success not really it's the house of success it is that success which makes you happy in life because you see what happens if a plant is in 11th again he's aspecting the fifth house which means you are seeking happiness okay <clears throat> so it means either you are about to get happiness or you are actually working to make yourself happy so it's not just you know you are working uh, in a mundane sense you know for money or name fame you are working in a way that actually makes you happy internally and you don't have to depend on anything else which is very um, which is very contradictory sometimes because the 11th house is the house of external achievements and it can also sometimes make you work uh, for things which are not related to money but then there is internal happiness which is involved okay so therefore the 11th house is very important either for external or internal happiness number seven the 11th house as you know is the labhasthan right so it's the prime house of wealth so the 11th house when connected to any particular house can bring in massive wealth from that particular house so if the 11th lord is connected to the second so for example if the second lord is in 11th you can get money through finance sector 
third lot in 11th you can get money through you know social media or it technology youtube uh, instagram and all fourth lot in 11th you can get money through you know online courses education you can open a school or real estate okay fifth lot in 11th through your creativity sixth lot in 11th no, uh, it, it it could be through law, through medicine, doctors, and all this. Okay, account uh, could be accountants also. You know, so <clears throat> eighth lord in the eleventh can certainly give you a lot of you know uh, lottery or something like that. Okay, so either ways, whichever planet is in the eleventh or wherever the eleventh lord is, you need to understand that you can gain wealth through that house. So one of the simplest ways to identify how you can become massively wealthy is to see the planets in the 11th house which houses they are lording or if your 11th house is empty see where the 11th lord is placed okay that planet that house will make you very wealthy number eight very 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 important yet always ignored it is also the house of love romance and marriage so the 11th house is uh, the house which can get you married apart from the second and seventh okay and Apart from the fifth house, it is also the house of love and romance. This is not like, you know, a physical or sexual kind of thing, like one night stand or something like that. It shows, you know, long term commitment. So either in the form of marriage or in the form of uh, long term relationships. Okay. The serious relationships are seen from the 11th house. See, the 11th house is indicating compound interest. You know, so what is marriage? Marriage is basically compound interest. Ideally, it's supposed to be. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> the eleventh house will show relationships which you which will benefit you very much in the long run, either emotionally or mentally, spiritually, intellectually, financially, or overall. Okay, very very important. And number nine, classic eleventh house, the house of children. Okay, because it is the house of gains again, and children is uh, I mean it requires great karma, as the Vedic scriptures say. It is not very easy for anybody to have children. Okay. Uh, either a boy or a girl um, you need good karma for that okay so you cannot just have children you like i do consultations and i always see people having problems with having children you know so i always tell people you know, in 2023 2024 2025 or maybe when somebody is watching this video you know after a thousand years if you have children you are you're really lucky because you have done some great karma from your previous lifetimes because of that you are having children okay even if you have one child that that child may not be like some superstar or may not be a billionaire but even then you are very lucky okay so again opposite of the fifth house if you would have done some great karma in your previous lifetimes you are blessed with children okay now of course that does not mean people who don't have children are not blessed but if you have children, then certainly you are blessed. There's no doubt on it. But of course, then it's your duty to uh, give them a good upbringing. Okay? Otherwise, they may become like curse also sometimes. <laughs> Number 10, they represent friends who are like family. Okay, So they the 11th house can... See, friends are seen from many houses. Like, you know, the third house is the house of friends, uh, acquaintances, okay? Like friends. But fifth house can show friends. But 11th house... Again, as I said, you know, just in context of marriage and love romance, it can show friends like who are from your childhood or your school, you know, your uh, nursery sometimes. So if your 11th house is strong, you will have long term friendships. Okay, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. Okay, uh, because again, as I said, it's the house of compound interest. Everything keeps compounding. Okay. And number 11, most important, it's the house of good good health and healing okay so if you have any health problem and your 11th house is getting activated in dasha through planetary placements nakshatras or lordships then you are lucky because now you are going to be healed now of course this is critical and this has to be seen from multiple factors you know like fifth house is um healing uh primarily it's healing then ninth house is also blessings you know 11th house is gain so you have to see the fifth and the ninth also when it comes to healing. Okay, so uh, if these two houses are also supportive, then guaranteed 99% you will get healing. All right, so therefore, these are some of the 11 amazing blessings of the 11th house. As I said, I can write 11,000 and I would love to know from you what do you think 
are some of the other blessings of the 11th house all right thank you so much for your patience please let me know down in the comments and where is your 11th lord which planets are in the 11th house and what happened when the dasha of these planets or the 11th lord was active in your chart all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and for consultations please go to my website down in the description section thank you